This is a piece of glass, maybe, I don't know, some 30 centimeters by maybe, yeah. maybe 50, 60 centimeters. I've applied a coat of wax, release wax. Um, didn't really film that, but just your regular wax on wax off sort of stuff, like uh, the Karate Kid. Um, now I'm gonna use clean rags, that is a cut up sock. Um, <laughs> We just buff that out. Right, I've got here a small roll of carbon fiber. And uh, there it is. I will cut out several small squares. This material, I think, is uh, 160 grams per square meter, so it's very thin. You can see how nice that looks. So this is how carbon fiber starts out as. It's just fabric. I mean, you can see how it's very flexible. It's fabric. I, I would, I'd say it's similar to that sort of stuff that potatoes and onions and stuff come in, actually. Um, just a much fancier weave. And uh, it's called a twill weave, this one. So you can mold this into a variety of shapes and all that. What I'll do now is I will layer five layers of this stuff. So 160 times 5 will be 800 grams, I think, all up, of carbon. And yeah, I'll basically just brush it on. I'll brush the resin on. So um, I'll show you what that looks like and also, by comparison, what vacuum-infused uh, carbon fiber looks like. And carbon fiber is just long bits of fiber, basically. Now this, each one of those little lines that makes up the pattern is made up of a bazillion, million, trillion little separate fibers. I mean, I could just go and divide that up so many times. Um, and I'll bring the camera over here. With the white background, you might be able to see it much better. Can you see how fine some of those fibers are? And I mean, that really gets down to a microscopic scale. So, and this stuff is just really strong, I could never break that. Ah. Yeah, nah, that's just gonna... Actually, you know what, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really go for it and try. Ah. Oh, wow, okay. There you go. <laughs> that's how much effort that took to break. But, okay, and there you go. And you can see how it's made out of like many, many, many little fibers. These things are literally microscopic. I mean, see that? Yeah. So now I'm gonna lay it down on the glass and I'll show you how that's done. All right, now I'm gonna mix up some resin. So. See how much that is. Twenty nine. Okay. Twenty nine grams times five. So thirty times five is one fifty. One forty five grams. Okay. There you go. So we need one forty five of this. Alright, and I'm going to mix this up. You need to mix this stuff up uh, as well as as well as you can. 
and I will actually put on a mask for this because when this starts to react it will get damn smelly <laughs> Um, when it's kind of ready, it'll be ready when it's kind of sticky, but not runny anymore, so... Yeah, you can hear and <laughs> probably see that fingerprint now. So that's pretty much ready um, for the next step. So I'll put on the mask and I'll get on with it.
So basically here we have a piece with a thin clear coat and then I've lost count but I'll count how many sheets I've actually done in the video. So yeah we've got several sheets there that have all been dabbed in. This here I didn't do a clear coat just on glass same sort of process as that and this one just for the hell of it I made obviously just the one single sheet of carbon fiber and I've dabbed it on just to see how flexible that's going to be but also um, the reason I did these two is just sort of to see for my own sake how well that's going to turn out but this is how most things get done first the clear coat gets rubbed on then when that's sort of gelled and it's uh, sort of like this like you know when it's kind of leaving little fingerprints which I'll show you with the camera I'll take the glove off you can see there how where I've touched it it's left a little fingerprints when it gets to about that stage where it's just gelled then um, it's ready to have carbon fiber laid over the top so uh, when this is all done when it's basically um, hardened and cured later on tonight or perhaps I'll leave it overnight yeah that's probably the best idea tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon I'll take these off and I'll compare them with a vacuum infused piece about this size that I have